There's something about the water in the Bahamas. It's mesmerizing. And fish are drawn to it the same way we are. This week, SFTV treks to a small private island in the Exumas to play witness to massive schools of bonefish and to enjoy one of the most luxurious island-style resorts in the world. That's a good size one, whatever it is. We're on a fish. Whoa! In all our travels around the world fishing, we stay in some pretty nice places and some rather rustic places. But I gotta tell you, I'd honestly be very hard pressed to find any place nicer than Royal Plantation here. And the fact that you can get maybe 100 shots at bonefish every day, well, that's just icing on the cake. In all my years of living in and traveling around tropical islands, I've discovered that the harder a place is to get to, the nicer it is in every way. You only have two transportation choices if you want to go to Fal Cay, small private or charter plane, or boat. Land at nearby Staniel Cay, and then hop into a skiff for the short trip to Royal Plantation, and get ready to be wowed. First, the physical beauty of the island, the waters and the weather take your breath away. From the gorgeous villas you'll stay in, to being met with champagne and canapes at the dock, to the butler unpacking for you, this is a five-star resort every inch of the way. Our host is Adam Stewart, CEO of all the Sandals Resorts. Adam and his family flew in from Sandals Jamaica headquarters to greet and fish with us. I can't wait for tomorrow to start. First day fishing the flats, and Royal Plantation manager David Machado joined me along with our local guide, Bonefish Cliff. Bone fishing here works best on the incoming tide when the fish can move up into the shallows. And that fabulous fishing waits only a few minutes ride from Royal Plantation's dock, though you could fish right from the resort's beaches too. Fal Cay is a tiny spot in the middle of the Exumas, several hours boat ride south of Nassau. Unlike most of our fishing, which we do from boats, here we plan to wade the blazing white sand flats, home to huge stingrays and lemon sharks, as well as thousands of bonefish. Always remember to shuffle your feet or you might meet a stingray more painfully than you'd like. So Cliff, where am I? Harvey Key. Harvey Key. All right, and there are bonefish here? Yes, sir. Is the tide coming in or yeah, out? Yeah, tide coming in right now. All right, well, show me the fish. All right, let's go down here, right down here. Yeah, right there, yeah, that's them right there. See the flash? Since I don't fly fish all the time, it always takes me an hour or so to get the timing and muscle memory going again. You should be able to reach him right there, see him? Boy, there sure are a lot of them. As the tide rises, the fish move shallower. Our strategy is to pen the fish up against the shore. It's like herding cattle. But if they get past you, they're gone. Dean, when you're casting, yeah. try to get a little more distant out there. You drop it too close in, you gotta try to get it out. And when you throw it, if you could try to get it in the back and then put it through the crowd, it'd be All much right. better. I usually throw it in the back of them and then strip it through the the school. Came from behind and then come out front. Really? That yeah. that usually spooks them. Huh? All right, I'll give it a try. Yeah. Yeah, they're going back down that you now. They're going back down in the corner now. They just want us to keep walking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can get them. They're all the way down there now. See them going all the way down the back yeah? yeah. David prefers a spinning rig to fly fishing, and he may be on to something. He has what the locals consider bonefish candy on his hook, so it'll be interesting to see which tackle proves more productive. Personally, I love the zen aspect of fly casting. I've never seen somebody pull a lure from behind the fish. Hmm. You got him, you got him, you got him. All right, hold him there, buddy. You got him. That's the way to go. <laughs> I, you know, I have never in my life caught a fish that way. Yeah. Coming up from behind him like that. That's a good show, man, that's a good show. 
<laughs> strong. Yeah, very strong fish. Pong to pong. One of the strongest fish you've ever find around. My, my, my. Now you know what to do when you throw yep. again. When you... Yeah. That was pretty nice. Yep. <laughs> That's the way to go. You got it. She is pretty. Oh, watch that lemon shark now. Yeah. See them shark got a sense that of humor. That shark wants, that yeah, shark wants want that bonefish. lunch. Yep. You want to get that, though. I'm not going to let him kill that bonefish. That's a no. good one. Oh, that's, that's a, a beauty. Look at yeah. the size of that. Yeah, that's a big one, yeah. Yeah. Quality, Always. not quantity. That's good fishing, man. Yeah, he's slippery. There you go. Oh, buddy, he's shark had it before. He tail going. Oh, yeah. Easy tail. Somebody got a nip. Yeah, I think that's him. Lemon shark get him a long time ago. Thank hey. you very much. Yeah. You were a good sport. Yep. All right, buddy. Come on now. Don't go to lemon shark. I got to watch you. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Good job. Yep. Well done. Here's your rod. Now that I have it programmed down, I'm ready to try it again. Yep. Fly fishing is like golf. Learn the basics in minutes, then spend your life trying to be good at it. That's when we return, whatever. we'll tell you about bonefish Cut. candy. Sport Fishing Television is presented by Yellowfin, the choice of champions. By Mercury, number one on the water. By Penn, the biggest name in fishing. And by the Florida Keys and Key West. Come as you are. Tropical shallow water flats possess a beauty unlike anywhere else. The light and shadows, the flora and fauna, the smells wafting on the breezes, and the intensity it takes to find and stalk a wily fish. I just love it. You got one? Yeah. Good for you, brother. Amazingly, all kinds of baits and lures work on these fish. In fact, I'm convinced that most all fish in feeding mode will strike pretty much anything remotely edible that crosses their path. David, are you cheating over there? I what am. What do you got? I'm actually using some fresh bait. What these are is a hermit crab that we source around the reefs, and it's like feeding candy to a baby to these bonefish. They That's the kind that lives in the shell. These are in the shell, yeah. so we deshell them, take the claws off, and just hook it a couple of times. And once that goes in, they smell it and they come up and pick it up right away. I bet. I would too. It looks yummy. Delicious. It looks better than my fly. Better than your fly? Yeah, I might yeah. be able to cast one of those on a fly rod. You might. <laughs> Let's see if we get you cheating. <laughs> Wading the flats is great exercise, too. Between casting the fly and maintaining your balance, it gives your entire body an excellent workout. I promise that by the end of your first day, you'll know that you've got muscles you didn't even know about. See him? See him, yeah? You got him? Yeah, you got him. You got him. Good show, good show. That's a good size one, whatever it is. Come here. You got him. You got him. Whoa. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. Yeah, yeah, you're not kidding. Yeah. Let him run. We'll take the drag to take now. Let him pop off. No, no, I'm not. When he started to run, just let him run. Yep. Got him. All right. All right, let him go. Yeah, that's a good one, yeah. I'm liking this. Yeah. Let him go. Let him keep running until he's ready to stop. Yeah. I just don't want him to go into the mangroves. No, don't let him get into the mangrove. Walk out, walk out, walk out, walk out from the, from the shore. Keep the tension on the line now. Yeah. Keep the tension on the line so he won't get off. This is a beauty. Yep. Yeah, that's a nice one. I liked it. I thought it was three or four pounds, yeah? Yeah, they're strong, pound to pound. One of the powerful fish you ever find around. Come on, buddy, take it easy. Look at a little brown circle on his nose. Very bony. That's beautiful. Is he ready? All right. 
Bye bye now. Bye bye, bunny. <laughs> I need a nap, he's saying. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, brother. Thanks for your help. Yeah, that was welcome. a beauty. That's a beauty. I guess this fly does work. Yep. Three to six pounds is about the average size bone fish in these parts right now. When we return, we'll show you some locals who are fatter. On our way out on day two, Cliff took us by a deserted island whose only residents are some wild pigs who love the food all the tourists bring them. But they have very sharp teeth, so if you happen by, don't try to feed Piglet. You might end up missing a finger. And despite the bad rap all sharks have gotten since the movie Jaws, lemon sharks only really pose a danger to the bonefish who lag behind their schoolmates. As you can see, these flats aren't really crowded fisheries. Cliff, David, and I are the only anglers in sight. The peace and quiet are so calming. In fact, even though we have three anglers plus a TV crew here, the sense of solitude is impressive. I can absolutely feel that I'm all by myself out here some of the time, and that our stalwart guide, Bonefish Cliff, occasionally misses a fish, well, that bolsters my ego. Hooked up. Good one. Hey, hey, you got him on, you got him on. Place fish of the morning, the big one. Yes, sir. Swimming right at me. This thing's just out for a stroll. Beautiful. What a great way to start the day. Doing better than me, I didn't lost two. <laughs> That's a good one you got here. Cliff, will you help me release this? Yeah, no problem, sir. I'll bring it over to you. Yeah, bring him here. I'll you get stay him off right here. there and I'll walk him to you. Yeah, he need to get back in the class, meet them now. That's All beautiful. Buddy. And perfect hook yeah. set. Yeah. He he hooked him good, he couldn't get off, he won't get off. Time to go now. Thank you. All right, buddy, see you later. Go bring that big one for me now. Let a lemon shot get you now. That was good. Yeah. Let's Thank get you. another one. Yeah, let's get the next one. I wear wading boots for my tender toes, but locals refer to wading barefoot as the Bahamian pedicure. It makes your feet soft and smooth. Good shot. This ain't all the fish, man. Oh, More we're fish coming right over it, right over it. Look at this. That's the one. That is the one. You got one, Cliff? It's a good shot, yeah. Perfect cast. They came my direction. Ah, beauty. Hook up. Got it. You hooked up? Yep, hook up. I hope you can get off. Got you, you ain't got no place. That's a nice one, too. Oh, get off. I want to go on and get the next one. Beauty. Yeah. Cliff, it's a beauty. Yeah, that's a nice one. That was a perfect shot, too, right in the school. And yeah, yeah. And yeah, the no. school didn't even leave. No, they stay around. That's amazing, though, to see how the fish just hang around, man. Excuse you me, get baby. one and fall to school. Pardon me, baby. Let me just get that out. Watch your finger now. All right, that's it. You got him. Go and go Thank on. you so much. Have a great afternoon. And next time, be bigger. Yeah. Tell your gangster friends to come back. Yeah. All right, buddy. See you later. Bye. Thank you, brother. Yeah, brother. Bonefish Cliff. What a pleasant and accommodating guy. It's appropriate that he works with Royal Plantation because that's what the resort is all about. Pleasant and accommodating. We'll show you the offshore fishing available around Falque as soon as we return. Sport Fishing Television has been presented by King Sailfish Mounts, offering a full selection of world-class release mounts. By Chica Lodge and Spa, luring anglers to the Florida Keys for more than 60 years. By Bomber Saltwater Grid, built to dominate. And by Ray Marine, world leaders in marine electronics.
Sandals Resorts International, which is a parent company of Rural Plantation, wanted a boutique line of property, something that is totally different and something that is just spectacular within the Caribbean. And our Rural Plantation was born, and we're sitting today on a private island in the Exumas in the Bahamas, and this is just a one-of-a-kind place. We try and keep the island very casual and very low-key, but we are able to provide world-class services. We have on this island butler services included within your private villa. The villas are stocked, they all have kitchenettes. So you can prepare your meals yourself within your villas or we can prepare them for you. Of course at night time in the Hill House where we have evening drinks and dinner which is prepared by the executive chef. Many of the people that come here and catch fresh fish during the day, the chef prepares it at the end of the day, ceviche style, any style you really like. The island has four private beaches. In addition to all the beaches, we do have spa services and facilities, two pools and a jacuzzi. We do have a tennis court on the island and you know people just tend to relax here and just go on nice beautiful strolls. A lot of times the wives actually get in a boat and take the kids and just go and disappear while the men enjoy some of the best fishing from anywhere in the world. There's no type of fishing that you can't do down here, whether you're going for wahoo or tuna, big game, big billfish, marlin, or you want to do some bone fishing. Some of the best bone fishing in the world is right here in the Exumas and we're dead smack in the middle of all of that fishing. We take great pride in our environmental practices here at Royal Plantation Island. On this property, we do make our, all our own water. It is put back into the gardens through the grey water systems. A lot of our lamps are solar powered. Mother Nature gives us plenty of power every day and we're using this as a pilot project, but environmental awareness and sustainability for us is, is par for the course, everyday life. This island is a place that you can just absolutely get away and just have the time of your life. Adam much prefers fishing offshore and welcomed us aboard his private boat for the day. Yeah, good, morning. Morning. good morning. Good morning. Morning, Skipper. Welcome aboard, gentlemen. We're ready to catch some fish. Thank you. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Precious little happens at O Dark 30 on Fal Cay. Fortunately, all the fishing is close at hand and you don't need to leave the dock in the middle of the night. We boarded Stewart's new Cabo and headed offshore to what they claim is a very productive fishing spot. David acted as one of our fishing mates, which he loves doing as much or more than running the island. And lucky for us, we're here in December during the annual Wahoo migration. That buoy seems like the only piece of structure in thousands of feet of water for miles and miles it's the only around. Thing out there. It's the only thing out there. It's a US Navy buoy uh, in the middle of what they call a tongue of the ocean, so we're out about 4,000 feet. Why load here when it's on it's on. Well, that's going to attract the fish if anything will. Yeah, man, absolutely. They look for any kind of structure, and that's the only thing around, so it's no it wonder is. you come here. A lot of sharks on it. You, you got to be quick. The sharks will get the bait. Yeah, uh, can't wait around. We're dragging the universal trolling bait, an island lure with a ballyhoo. It'll attract pretty much any offshore fish. We're running at about 10 knots and are circling that only deep water structure within many miles. So if there are any fish in the area, this is where they'll be. I'd rather be fishing stand-up tackle, but for the ease of most of the resort's guests, the boat's offshore gear are all bent butts. Tough to use a light rod belt with those, so it's into the chair. I guess we found where they are, huh? This one's on the plug. All right, no problem. Coming up. Hold it. Oh, that shark took my dinner. Yeah. Well, he left me a couple of small fillets. Sure would be nice to get a whole fish for our chef to prepare tonight. At least we know the Wahoo are here, but getting them to the boat before the sharks tag them is almost impossible today. But not totally impossible if you're truly skilled or devious. Take your pick. Get it quick! Yeah. 
Yeah. You get that one in, and I'll use mine as a decoy. Yep. Come on, man. Get lick already. Yep. Wow. Yeah, man. What a shot down here. I'm out of control. Yeah. Hey. All right, Tony. Yeah, I got one in. All right. Take that, shark. <laughs> Yeah, well, you know what? It's a good idea to get two on at a time because one is a decoy, and you sort of donate one to the cause, and then you get the other one in when they're not looking. Mine was a decoy, and he got his. Next, well time, done, next time, we'll trade places. <laughs> well done. Between the Navy Boy and the resort are myriad other places and species to target. And like the flats, the number of other anglers you'll encounter can be counted on one hand. I like those odds. I thank Adam Stewart and David Machado and the Royal Plantation staff for pampering us and making us feel so special. I've never stayed anywhere more luxurious. And thanks to Bonefish Cliff, too. And of course, I always thank King Sailfish Mounts for letting our hearing impaired viewers share our adventures. I'm Dean Travis Clark. Tune in next time for another fabulous fishing voyage right here on SFTV.